What up, nerds? My name is Colin, Mr. Sorelius Keith, and today I'm going to show you guys this nice power supply. So it's a Keysight E3631A triple output DC power supply. So triple output being one, two, three at power supplies. There's one for six volts that ranges between zero and five amps, and then there's a plus 25 and minus 25 voltage that ranges between zero and one amp. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. I have my circuit connected, but as we turn it on, as we would hope to expect, nothing happens. The reason is here, it says the output off. Just so that you guys are aware or that you guys can be safe, we can actually turn the output off and everything's set to a default of pretty much zero volts and zero amps, which is what we expect. However, if you notice that there's actually a plus six volts here, by default, it starts on the plus 6 volt tap. So if we switch to the plus 25 volts, luckily nothing explodes here, but that's because it sets everything to 0 volts and 0 amps. We can also set it to minus 25 similarly, and it does nothing. So right now we're using the plus 25 volts. We can use the 6 volts for the application we're doing, but for your application it might be different. Again, take note that if we do use the 6 volt tap, we have a current output from this power supply that ranges between 0 and 5 amps. And if we use the plus minus 25 volts, we have a maximum current output of 1 amp or anywhere between 0 and 1 amp. So this power supply is really powerful because it has some really powerful built-in features that can help you test for short circuits and is really good for debugging your circuit without blowing it up, especially again, if there is a short circuit present. So we're just going to power something that I kind of whipped up real quick. It's essentially an Arduino. It has an Atmega 328, Crystal, and then just an LED that I have blinking at I don't know, a half a second or every second or so on and off toggling. So I'll be honest, I don't know too much about this power supply, just one of the features that is really powerful that I use all the time, but I don't know what recall, or error, or IO config do. The only thing I'm gonna cover today is the output on off and the display limit. The display limit is the real feature of this video where it shows the power of this power supply to tell you if you have a short without, you know, plugging in your 7.4 volt battery, for example, and just having infinite current run through it and destroy your Atmega, your LED, or whatever other circuitry that you have going on in your project. All right, so let's get started. So again, we're on the plus 25 volt tap as signified here and by our connections. We're gonna go into the display limit and here we can see that the default maximum limit is one amp as denoted on the power supply itself and in the data sheet. What we wanna do is we wanna power our app mega with anywhere between say three and five volts. So we can see here in the display limit that the maximum output is one amp and right now it's set on zero volts. We want to make sure that we turn the output off from here on out to make sure that we don't power a circuit in case we accidentally put too much voltage or so. So we're going to turn output off and it'll stay off as signified by here in the bottom right corner it says off. So let's go back to the display limit and we can set the maximum voltage to whatever we want. For at mega we want somewhere between three and five volts. So we want to make sure that we don't want to go anything above five volts. So we'll set it to five volts. And then to toggle here from voltage to current, we can click on this voltage current button. And now we're on the current. And to test for shorts, I know that this circuit won't pull more than 20 milliamps. For your application, it may be different. So use your best intuition to figure that out. I'm going to turn it all the way down to maybe 20 milliamps. As I suggested, again, for different applications, maybe 50 milliamps, 100 milliamps, but I know for a fact that at 20 milliamps, I won't destroy my circuit or anything on here, even if I have a short. So with that set, it's gonna go back to the output screen, but notice again that it's off. Now we can turn it on by turning on the output. And we notice here that we have five volts and we have it at about 16, 17 milliamps, depending on whether the LED is on or off. And you can see your LED is turning on and off with no problems, so that's great. If we wanted now, we could change our display limit to turn up the current more and everything should just be as normal. Again, because I wasn't pulling the max current signifying a potential short in some cases, we're fine here. But if we did see the maximum current, then it would mean two things that either our circuitry just in its idle state is pulling more than the set limit or that there is indeed a short. And so let's show that. Let's show a short right now. So I'm gonna connect the negative lead to the positive lead. And we're gonna notice here that the voltage drops to approximately zero and that the current goes to the display limit that we have, which we changed to 100 milliamps. So this signifies a short. Luckily, as you see here, this power supply is powerful indeed in that when there is a short, something internally recognizes that and it's not gonna blow up something in our face. If this was our circuit with a battery, however, that didn't have this feature, our circuit would have definitely exploded. Something would pop, smoke, explode, whatever, and your circuit would be dead for all intents and purposes until you replace whatever part you need to do. So this is one of the powerful features of this power supply and why it makes it a really good debugging tool. So we'll go back to normal and everything returns as is. And so as you can see, this power supply is really powerful in debugging and just checking your circuits for any short, whether it be breadboard, PCB, or just anything else in general. All right, so hopefully you guys found that useful. And until next time, catch you nerds later.